emotionless. And we like that about you. And you're always here for us. Thanks for receiving our voices. You can do it. You can be a receptor. You've been doing it. Mm. 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 I kept wanting to get in there, but not until you got out of there. Yeah. He wanted me to get closer. Don't want our breaths to mix. <laughs> Don't want to mix breaths. Don't miss, oh, mix those breaths. breaths together. Characterize your breath today. Welcome to Good Mythical More. It's got a little bit of a CarMax flavor to it because I put that on there, not a sponsor. CarMax? Is that what is it? It's kinda like Noxzema for your lips. I can't find it now. What are you using CarMax for? You have herpes, finally? <laughs> nope. Joining the ranks I just, of you mouth know, herpes. One of the things I've noticed and one of the things that people have pointed out to me is that I have a, probably for every time that you adjust your glasses, I lick my own lips. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Like, is there a correlation? Like, no. <laughs> it's just, it, it's approximately the same frequency I go like this. I've noticed that and, and I didn't wanna say anything. Uh, well, I, I've, I've noticed it too, but I, my defense has been, well, my lips are dry. So now I got some Carmex on them, so I won't do that again. Maybe I still did it. You know what I've got? I've got the homemade. Yeah. Well you, got the homemade. There's a time and a place for you to reveal that, and it's apparently now. No, it's not. Okay, uh, I got a little if, homemade. If you action. follow me on the Instagram at RedMC, yes, that's right. Uh, you probably know that I, I recently went to the North Carolina, which is where we're from. I was not there. Went there for my grandmother-in-law's ninetieth birthday. Ninety. Ninety years old. Ninety. Like, that's. I mean, she was born in nineteen twenty-five. She's seen a lot of life. Wow. And uh, I learned something about myself. And that is, I already knew that I cared too much about my hair. I mean, it's obvious from looking at me. I would hate me if I ran into me in like an airport. I, I, don't, I don't like men who spend their much time, this much time on their hair. I really don't. Can you put that on like a t-shirt and wear it at an airport? If you I ran would, into me at an airport, I would hate me. No, I, I would I, hate me if I ran into me at an airport. <laughs> yeah. I would hate me if I ran into me here. And hello if to those of you who are mythical beasts who I did run into at the airport. Thanks for saying hello. Did they say and thanks for not hating me? <laughs> there was one guy who came up to me when I was in a, especially in a, a moment of uh, a little bit of a panic mm. with my family, and we thought we were at the wrong gate, and we thought we were late for the flight, and we were looking at the thing, and a guy came up and he was just like, "I just want to get a picture, not with you, of you," and that was that was kind of crossed the line a little bit, but <laughs> it's at least he didn't. <laughs> so he didn't just take it. He said, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna take a picture of you, not with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that better than He was him older just... though. I think he just, you know, he's just, he didn't know about the selfie. He hasn't done know about the selfie. It was for his daughter. Would you have- I appreciate you doing, taking the picture. Would you have preferred for him to just take the photo and not say anything? No. Or to be in the photo? No, and I was nice enough, I'm a nice guy. I mean, I, I got this hair, but I am a nice enough but guy. But what's your preference? What? How would you have liked for that have gone, to have gone? Him did not come up to me at all. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, that, at that moment, at that moment. Because of the context. Because I was, in, it was a yeah, stressful yeah, yeah, moment, yeah. my kids were there and you know. Tension, you, you were at the wrong gate. What I learned about myself is uh, that I always heard women talk about like, it is so humid out here, My, I'm having a bad hair day. And I was like, what are you talking about? You have hair on your head and it just grows and it just does things and it doesn't matter what the weather is. Well, <laughs> I was wrong. Boy, so I you was can't go so out wrong. And, I'm sorry to all humidity. women that I've ever judged about you had saying that there was something up with your hair because of the humidity. I had so much trouble with my hair on the East Coast and I felt like such an idiot. And I was just like, I need a buzz cut. And I almost went back to the buzz cut while in North Carolina. I was what gonna was come it? back and surprise you and just have a buzz cut what or like was a wrestler's doing? cut. Drooping? Falling. It was both simultaneously falling and bouffanting at the same time. I mean, it was, I identified with women everywhere. So anyway. The trip wasn't about you though. It wasn't, it was about a 90 year old woman. You'll never live to 90 with that attitude. I won't. That yes. attitude will kill you. That now, preoccupation that I obviously don't have, <laughs> yeah. that you have, is gonna kill you, man. I'm, you know, I just, I don't, it's in, it's in a logo now. That's the problem, it's right. in a logo. Yeah. Change I wanna, the logo. I wanna change my hairstyle. No. I mean, I hate, you know, I just fear the comments when it's like, you have a 13 year old boy's haircut. Huh. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's got, something's gotta give. Yeah, well let's just do buzz cuts, so, man. Let's, let's just, let's do it. Let's just buzz cut let's, it up. Let's, sh 
let's shave our heads like we did that Easter break in college yeah. and I didn't tell uh, Christy who I was dating at the time and I just showed up for a date and I was like all but razor bald, like, like zero level, you know when you can like, you can put your clippers on zero. I'm aware of that. Meaning so. you can take the, take, take take the, the guard the off. Guard off and then you can actually turn it down where it's even the tightest version of that. Yeah, yeah. That's what we did to our heads. Yeah, yeah, I did They it. look like Easter eggs. I did it on level one the day before my wedding, which I've talked about that several times before. That was a mistake, my wife is reminding me. So you times. learned that you are like a humidity sensitive I just learned that person. I, I just learned that, you know, the hair has gone too far, it's out of control, and I don't I would not like me if I ran into me. But I'm not You've known change. that. I've, I've known that forever. For I'm not years. gonna change that. Okay. You, you've just learned you're not gonna go back to the East Coast because you're because hair. of the hair. <laughs> I'll never move to North Carolina that is because sad. of the hair. Okay. But I had a really interesting uh this wasn't a, a run in that I had, but we're still going, huh? Over 40 people were at this uh, gathering of just f extended family, family to celebrate Gaga's 90th birthday. And uh, I'm not gonna name any names, but there was one man there, older man. Uncle somebody? He's an uncle. And- uh, Does his he, first name he, start with a- Don't say it. Don't be Link here, be, be smart. Okay, <laughs> hey. so- uh, so he. Uh, I think you should apologize for that. He's a. He's a. I'm, I apologize for that, Link. I. I would not hate you if I ran into you at an airport. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to mean it. Um. So. Did you mean it? I didn't mean it. Okay. Good. I just did it you for the sake of the right. People, they. So they yeah. won't think we hate yeah. each other. Yeah. So there was a guy. Uh. He's a smoker. Lots of the people in this family are, are well. Not well. They used to be. He's still a smoker. He was kind of sitting out, sitting outside taking a smoke break at my in-law's beach house, which has a beautiful view of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And I mean, this is really just a beautiful place. Sounds and, like bragging. You need to... And and uh, he was talking about how he hadn't left the small town that he lives in in about 20 years. And he was kind of talking about it with a certain sense of pride. Okay. And then my mother-in-law was talking about, she was like, isn't this view just isn't it beautiful down here? Because it really is. And he was like, don't care a thing about it. He was holding a cigarette like that? No. Okay. Don't care a thing about it. <laughs> and, at that moment, and what did she say? I wasn't there. I was inside. At that moment. You don't I even just, know if this happened. I know that it happened. I saw it happen. I didn't hear this it happen. This is great. It's, and I just, at I that can believe moment, this I thought about me and my haircut, and mm. him and his cigarette. And I was like, somewhere in between these two is a normal person. Yeah. Is the kind of person that you ought to be. Right, if if, if the two of you made a child together. <laughs> so I'd like to It'd be a normal child. That me and uncle <laughs> whoop, whoop. are having a baby together. <laughs> Who will be a perfect this, person. This sm <laughs> smoking, bouffant, uh, bad in the humidity. That's Child, like right out of the womb.